I'm driving to uh, one of my favorite trails in southeast Michigan. It's called uh, Addison Oaks. It's uh, in the Addison Oaks County Park. Uh, so it's a huge, huge county park. We got like a big disc golf course. Uh, they got a lake that you can go out and fish on and paddle boat on and canoe on and stuff like that. No swimming. Uh, they have a huge campground. It's one of my favorite campgrounds basically in Michigan, or at least in lower Michigan. And uh, then they have a about a seven mile, they say it's about seven miles, it's roughly a little shorter than that, um, mountain bike trail. They also have like uh, equestrian trails you can go ride your horses on and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ride the mountain bike trail. It's one of my favorites. It's you know your typical southeast Michigan cross country type trail. So you got some climbs, some steep climbs, but not a lot, but they're pretty steep. Uh, not as steep as like Pontiac Lake. But, you know, it's fun. And then you got some couple good downhill shooters. Uh, a lot of tight turns and stuff like that. There's a couple turns that have some good banks that I really like a lot. Um, yeah, I'm driving, so I can't really look at the camera a whole lot. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a good morning. I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a race. They have a race there in the fall, and this is one of my training sessions for that race. Uh, i got to try to get three laps in, and each lap I need to get in in under an hour to get the time that I want to get. Hard part is, is I can usually do the first lap if I'm, you know, hammering it hard and like, I don't know, like 40 minutes maybe. Um, but then I'm usually pretty tired by that because there's kind of a climb right at the start. So it loops back around and you're like dead and I'm dead and go back up and, and race can't stop. So I'm not going to stop while I'm training, get a rest in, but I might have to do that on this like, probably at my third lap we'll see but it doesn't seem like you know oh it's only like seven miles that's easy because I do 20 miles like on a regular basis on my bike but trails pretty pretty rough it's got a lot of rocks it's got a lot of rut roots um, and then some of the drainage creates like a little rut but oddly enough I found that that drainage is like the best line for me on my bike so I tend to follow that a lot so you know, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's been almost a month since I've been to Addison Oaks. I've been hitting up other trails for the Caramba Trail Challenge. So like the last week I was at Pontiac Lake. The uh, week before that I did uh, Clinton River, which I didn't get any video of. So, um, you know, it's fun. It's probably the closest trail to me next to Oakdale, which I ride a couple times a week. So, uh, yeah, well, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy. hope the video comes out well. I don't know, I'm using a new mount with my new uh, full face helmet that I got here. So, there's the mount. So, we'll see how, how it goes. And, um, yeah, I will uh, talk at you later. All right. We're almost to the trail. Whew. i got to remind myself to uh, whatever I'm thinking in my head to say out loud. I already did a lap around the lake. A little skinny. Just to kind of peek at the trail to see it. Well, it didn't look too sloppy, but I know there's going to be spots deep in that are. But, like right here. Got a lot of rain last night. I wasn't expecting, but... Rain or shine, the race will go on, so... Yeah, it's definitely wet. It's gonna be a sloppy, muddy day. Alright, this is gonna stretch, but I might stop and stretch after my first lap. It's so soft that it's just eating my power. Branches are low. Pauline needs to get out here and cut these. Make sure I do a good tick 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 check when I'm done too. Be a lot of deer out and about today. I've already seen like six of them. And I did my little lap around. It's pretty rideable so far. It ain't been too major other than some of the like, bottoms of the climbs. Oh, 
slippery. The nice thing about this trail is I know the lines pretty well. I'm not saying I'm an expert on it, but riding it five days a week. Oh. Oh. I got a five mile race with my daughter tomorrow. She should be able to do just fine. Should have signed her up for the 10, but I think five's gonna be fine. Oh. Yeah, hit that perfect line there, but it was all wet and slid out there. Yeah, I'm already get pretty covered in mud. Just tired. I have the strength to push. Someone's already been through here on a bike since it rained. Oh, damn! It took a lot out of me. Prior year it was a heavy winter. Lots of snow. I am going really slow right now. But all this mud, I don't want to slip and mess the trail up and whatnot. I haven't ordered my pedals yet, which I need to do. My feet are still bouncing and I'm going to have to get different shoes. What's my pace? Nine miles an hour. Take photos on my second lap. These shoes get wet and just, they don't want to stick. So slick right here. Okay. Tracks again. Another person rolling through here. And it looked like within the last couple hours. Obviously before I got here today. Oh, but they could be camping here. And so I didn't see anyone else in the parking lot. It looked like they were riding. Probably people that's nice. I swear climbs are harder because of the rocks and the roots. Although you can kind of grip onto some of the roots. Lots of chipmunks and squirrels. Looks like Polly's been out to cut any of this yet. Get to the front part. I really got a grip. 
Normally I jump that rock right there, but too slippery. A big climb, I think, coming up here. Oh no, not yet. Oh, this is the downhill fun. Whew, slide there. Yep. Oh, so bumpy. Oh. Good spot to rest and get some speed up. All right, well, that was the first half. On to the second half. The biggest climbs in the park. It's gonna be real slick through here. You can already tell. My dead elephant breaks. Climbs are really kicking my butt today. Not enough carbs last night. I just had enough food in general yesterday. There we go. I think the back pedal and hammer would work there, but it did. It saves me a lot of times. I really gotta work on my cornering technique, I think. slipped off and I switched pedal positions. One thing that I have to do that I think is that I think is specific to BMX bikes and or riding smaller bikes that you're standing the whole time and not sitting is pedal position when going around turns because I keep my seat up kind of high which I probably shouldn't because it gets in the way sometimes. I really should lower it for the trail. But thought about getting a dropper post, but I need the, the endurance of the other part. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I gotta start just lowering my seat when I get to the trails. Weight over the back, but kind of backfires sometimes as it can slow me down. Oh, an ass here. not the fastest I've gone through there but it's definitely pretty fast I've gotten to it where I've maxed my crank out before I've gotten to that first little kicker and uh, it's pretty fast oh, drop it rough there's a bad line there. Slick at this kicker. Slick there. Whew. It's 
probably my top 10 of fastest times through that spot. Yeah, Woo. I can always come down, like when it's dry, I can not even break all the way down through here and just go almost full send. But I knew it was gonna be slick there. And it was. Maybe, you know, I feel at the end of this, I won't stop on my second lap, but do the four photos and do photos on my third lap. I feel like this and the wall, this, the wall, and hammer it are the hardest spots for me. That's where I fell last year. And I got the good line. Oh, that's not the good line. The good line for me kind of goes around that little root drop which I didn't to drop it just full center right over it like what well, was an up and over hill but that's where I fell it took a bad line I was just being cocky like I didn't watch it as I came up Not making it. I tried. Just didn't have the length strength or something. I don't know. Not breathing right. I need to get to the gym and actually work on my legs. So I don't think I do this like fast enough. Or well, I don't, I don't ride a lot of big hills enough to really work my legs out. At least I haven't been. Uh. My feet just not... It's like they're hovering above the pedals. They like really rip them. that I wore my legs out going down the hill and have the power to come up
Whew. One lap done. On to lap number two. I'll check my time when I get up here. Let's get up to the two track. I don't know, half hour. Didn't get recorded. So that's kind of a bummer, but didn't miss much. I got 22.65 miles, uh, 8.09 average pace, so that's pretty good. You know, anything eight and above, I was shooting for for my first time doing three laps around uh, Addison Oaks because it is, you know, it gets harder the more laps I do it, but I'm glad I uh, was able to do it, so that's cool. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I don't know. I keep saying, uh, nah, nah. Anyways, um, let me know what you liked most about the video. Let me know what you didn't like about the video. Uh, and all the rest of the stuff. You know, I, know I hate begging for likes and comments and stuff. But, you know, I want to make it interactive to, so I can make these video, videos better. So let me know what works, what doesn't work. And I'll see you in the next ride.